Aoi is red. Lamzu is blue. The EC3 is alright, but it has a thorn in its side. Crappy poems aside, the Lamzu thorn is one of the most interesting mouse releases of 2023. So we're gonna answer three questions. One, is it good? Two, who is it for? And three, what are the differences between it and the Zawi EC3 CW it clearly takes inspiration from? Starting off with the kind of shape, size, and grip styles the Lamzu thorn works for. Which the Lamzu thorn is a small, compact, ergonomic mouse, which means it's probably designed for smaller hands to palm grip and kind of medium sized hands to do a claw grip. If your hands are about 18 centimeters to 20, 21 centimeters long, it's a good choice to claw grip. If your hands are under 18 centimeters long, it's a good choice to palm grip. Taking a closer look at the shape, you've got a nice groove on the left for your thumb. The right side slopes outwards and has a slight indentation for your pinky and forefinger to rest. There's a hump in the middle and the mouse kind of slopes downwards towards the right like this, a very traditional ergonomic mouse shape. And these clicks also feature optical switches now. Optical switches have the main advantage of having better longevity and better click latency and the implementation here feels good. It's light, it's crisp, it's consistent and I have zero complaints about it. Could it be a little lighter? In my subjective opinion the answer is yes but I think if it was a little lighter many will complain that it's too light. Scroll wheel is also nice. It's the same as the Lenzo Atlantis and Atlantis Mini so light, rubberized and quiet which is great and the thumb buttons have no pre-travel and zero post-travel and they feel excellent as well. Internals wise, it's got the Pixar 3395 sensor and a Nordic MCU. And what that basically means is that it's the best of the best that you can get. This mouse also supports a optional 4000 Hertz dongle, which costs about 10 USD, a reasonable price. And what that basically means is you can run this mouse at 4000 Hertz polling rate. Now, I'm not gonna come out here and say 4000 Hertz is gonna be super noticeable for everyone. And it has its disadvantages of reducing battery life and causing a little bit more PC lag if your CPU isn't fast enough to handle it. But if you you can feel the difference or you think you will enjoy the placebo effect of having that difference, then it is a nice cheap optional upgrade to the Lamzu Thorn. On my 500Hz display, I can notice the difference, but not everyone has a 500Hz display running at 800fps all the time. It's also a whopping 52 grams, which makes it extremely light, and despite this, it still has respectable build quality, even though it has holes on the bottom, which means if you drop water in there, it will be an issue. It's not as good as the heavier competitor it's up against, aka Zowie, it is still plenty good. However, on 4000 Hz, you definitely are going to need to charge this mouse maybe once every two to three days because 4K Hz really does eat up your battery life. So yeah, this mouse is really good and I've already broken down who it's for. People who like lightweight ergonomic gaming mice and have the hand sizes that I described earlier. Which leads me to the next part of this video. What's the difference between the Lemzu Thorn and the EC3 CW it draws inspiration from? I mean, the first most obvious difference is the weight. It's a good 24 grams lighter, so if you like heavy, your mice as always is the choice but you really should consider getting a mouse as light as possible. It's gonna feel more intuitive once you get used to it and it's gonna put less strain on your wrists and your forearms so I personally just recommend getting a lighter mice almost always. It also has optical switches compared to traditional mechanical switches on the Zowie EC3 CW. However the EC3 CW does have a very nice click feel thanks to the Huano switches in here being very good and it's also a little bit lighter which I prefer. But the Lamzu Thorns switches and the fact that it's optical technology just puts it so far ahead that it more than makes up for this difference in feel. EC3 does have a couple of advantages though. The coating is significantly better, though the Lamzu makes up for it with nice grip tape, and it does have better build quality than the Lamzu Thorn, as well as support for a charging dock and a wireless adapter. But this fancy wireless adapter hasn't really been proven to give you that much of a real-world notable advantage, so I consider it more of a differentiating marketing feature rather than an actual improvement, unlike 4000 Hz actually is. I think the more important the differences between these two is the shape. Many people are going to call this a EC3 clone. Let me get it out of the way, it's not. Anyone with a pair of eyes who is slightly observant and careful will know they aren't. From a distance, they look similar, yeah. Both are traditional ergonomic mice shapes of a similar size. But when you put them side by side, it gets pretty apparent pretty quick. For example, the EC3 CW is more significantly sloped downwards than the Lamzu Thorn. It also has finger grooves for the clicks, whereas the Thorn has flat clicks, where you can put your fingers basically anywhere. The Lamzu Thorn also has a narrower pinch point, and it also has more deeper grooves on the sides and the top. So it ends up feeling like a slightly smaller mouse than the 
the Lamzu Thorn, which does feel a little puffier and rounder inside the hand. Both are valid design choices, and depending on who you ask, both are better in their own unique ways. I kind of like the EC3 shape a little more still. But the Lamzu Thorn shape is really, really good nevertheless, and I still find it to be extremely comfortable. So those are the differences between the Thorn and the EC3 CW. Arguably, it's only competitor on the market right now. But which one should you actually buy? The Thorn or the EC3? And why is it the Lamzu Thorn? Well, for one, the Lamzu Thorn is a good 60 USD cheaper than the EC3 CW. Even with the 4000 Hz polling rate dongle, the Thorn is a good bit cheaper than the EC3 CW. So it makes it really hard for me to recommend the Zowie EC3 CW, especially because it's got a older generation sensor, doesn't have 4000 Hz polling rate, and is significantly heavier. This means the Lamzu Thorn is significantly ahead for most people. Remember, mics are a subjective thing over its only competition, the Zowie EC3, at least for now. So for its class of compact ergonomic gaming mice, the Lamzu Thorn stands kind of one and alone. And that makes it a very compelling option for people who like this kind of mice and this kind of shape. And I would strongly recommend it if it fits your grip style and your hand size because the Lamzu Thorn and its price, with its features, it's an impressive, compelling mouse comes out. With that, the Thorn marks a hat-trick of quality releases from Lamzu. Subscribe.